So I'm Louise Bennett here at Parliament House today speaking to the Honourable Tanya Plibersek at the launch of the new Pathways to Politics program at the University of Melbourne, which Ms Plibersek has co-launched today. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Oh, it's a pleasure, Louise. So it's the first program of its type in Australia. Why do you think a program like this is necessary? Look, I think this is a great confidence building uh, opportunity for women and it's a great networking opportunity for women. Uh, we know that uh, if there's a job ad and a bloke has one out of the ten requirements in it, they'll think, I'm ready for that job. And women think, I have to have eight, I have to have nine, I have to have ten out of ten of the qualifications that they're looking for. So I think um, it, it, breaking into politics, this gives women the opportunity to think, yeah, OK, I know about campaigning, I know about media management, I know how political parties work. And the other thing, of course, uh, in politics is networking is really important. This, this will give uh, women who are interested in getting into politics a whole cohort of other women that have the same objectives. So what about your pathway to politics? Can you tell me about any of the gender-based obstacles that you've encountered? Um, look, I think uh, probably every woman who works in a field that is a predominantly male, male field will find that they have had obstacles along the way that are gender-based. But I've also had the opposite experience as well. I've had fantastic mentors, men and women who have been great mentors. And I've also found uh, amongst the Labor women a really strong sense of solidarity. We organise within the Labor Party. We've got organisations like Emily's List. And we've been really effective because we've set targets. When we first set a target in 1994, um, we had about 22% women. We're now, at, in 2015, we're at almost 50%. We're at 45% women. So I think I think working together has been a really inspiring and empowering thing. So you think it's important for women to support one another? Oh, I think Madeleine Albright said it best when she said women who don't... There's a special place in hell for women who don't support other women. I think it's a... Um, it's a really terrific thing to be able to work constructively with other women and with men who support women. And what do you think is the biggest challenge facing women trying to get into politics today? Look, it's awfully competitive. Uh, it's like um, uh, you know any job where there's a lot of competition. Uh, it can get to be quite a scramble at times. There's only 150 members of the House of Representatives in the federal parliament, and if you want one of those positions, you have to be prepared to fight for for it. And finally, why is it important to have gender equality in politics? We make the best decisions when we have the widest possible representation of life experiences. So we need gender balance, we need a diversity of ages, we need a diversity of family experience, we need a diversity of professional experience, ethnic background. Uh, the more diverse our parliaments are, the more representative we are. Terrific. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. It's a pleasure.